Hi, my name is Judy, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the new moon. I've been working a bit more over the last few months with the cycles of the moon. So what happens with the lunar cycle is we have a new moon at the beginning of the month, sometimes at the beginning and the end of the month. And the new moon is when you can't see the moon at all. After the new moon, the amount of the moon that you can see begins to get bigger and bigger and bigger over the next couple of weeks. So it's called a waxing moon until we get to a full moon, and which is obvious what a full moon is. And then after the full moon, again, the portion that we can see, the part of the face of the moon that we can see gets smaller and smaller and smaller until we can't see anything and we are back to another new moon. And that portion as the moon is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, well, it's not getting smaller, but the portion that we can see is getting smaller, that is the waning moon. So today I want to talk to you about the new moon. And the new moon is great. It's considered a clean slate. No matter what happened last month, everything is in front of you this month. So it is the time to plant seeds on your hopes, your dreams, your intention, your goals for the next month. Um, you can't see the new moon, obviously. You can't see the face of the new moon. But we all know that it's there. And we know that it's going to change over the next month. It's going to go through that whole cycle I just laid out. And that gives us hope that we can change as well, right? There's always, we can always change. It's the only thing certain in life, I like to say. So right before the new moon is a great time to write down what goals you have for the coming month. What habits you would like to put into place. What dreams you have. And a nice thing to do with them also is to put a little percentage by them and see what percentage you are sure that you can make this happen in a month's time. And it doesn't matter if you know that you can't do it in a month's time. We have an entire year to work on it. We have many years to work on it. Another nice thing to do with these habits and these goals and these dreams is to draw them. You know, there's something about putting pen to paper that helps us to remember things better than typing on a keyboard. Then, once you've got your list, and maybe you've doodled it, maybe you've drawn it, then is a great time to read those dreams and hopes and intentions out loud. Next step, potentially, is to meditate on them and to visualize them. And that is one of the secrets to manifesting new habits with the new moon is to feel them as if they are already happening. And finally, at the very end, I want you to say this or something else better. We can wish for a lot of things. We can have a lot of intentions and hopes and dreams. And sometimes if we cling to them too tightly, we don't open ourselves up to other opportunities that might be even better. So it's always good to set these goals, to set these intentions, to dream big. But we have to let go of our attachment to them. That just creates suffering. I hope you enjoyed this very short talk on the new moon. I am by no means an expert. I will continue to grow and learn more about the lunar cycles and the new moon and the full moon and what happens in between. But I've been working with it and I've been finding some success with it and I just wanted to share some of the things I've been learning with you. If you like this video, video please go ahead and click the like button. It makes it available to more people if you want to know when new videos are added to this channel, which is generally Sunday mornings at 8 a.m., go ahead and click subscribe.
thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you manifest all of your dreams and your goals over the next month.